Hi guys, this is Pest Dilly and welcome to another Skate for Dark Gold video. In this video, I'm going to cover a heap of new craftings that are available in the hideout. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up, uh, once you get into your hideout, now I'm not sure which levels you require for these crafts because I've already maxed out my hideout. Well, I got the Bitcoin farm to go. Yeah, I don't know which levels you need of each of these to get them, but just assume that you're probably going to need either level one, two or three. All right, done, covered there. So uh, they actually added a heap of new uh, crafts that will require the cloth, which is pretty cool and actually use for them that it's going to be purposeful. Uh, you've got the new Blav Tarzan rig that you can craft, but mostly the ones you're going to be looking at down here is either scav backpack or the 3M armors. The 3M armors are required early on, so you might not have the hideout lavatory done unless this is available at lavatory level one, which I can't confirm but you will be able to get 3M armors this way. Alternatively, you could make the 3M armors and sell them on the flea market. The next one you've got is actually the 60 round mags. I know a lot of people have been farming the ZB014 room for the 60 round mags. Uh, you just need the Keck tape and four of these basic 30 round mags, and you'll be able to get the 60 round mags for your quest. So it's a pretty cool uh, thing that you can now get these 60 round mags in a different way. Uh, if you're still struggling and you don't want to do the craft, you've got the killer, ZB14, or you buy them on the flea market, it's up to you. But there's an alternative method right there. Moving over to the intelligence center. Now, I'm not sure which levels of intelligence center you're going to need to be able to craft these. By the time you get to needing the vertexes, the coftums, and the VPXs, you're probably going to be already at least level one, most likely level two uh, intelligence center. Level two is not too difficult to get. Um, but level three does take a little bit of time. Now, uh, the VPXs aren't actually too difficult to find in raid, but it is quite nice to be able to be able to craft them for the quest. Um, I'll have the quest pop up, but I can't remember the name of the quest for it. Um, but you do need them for a quest and they need to be found in raid with the VPXs. The most annoying one here is actually the vertexes. Finding these in raid is actually extremely difficult. And uh, personally, being able to get this as a craft, is amazing because i did about 40 lab raids to find one of them and then i found the other one in reserve now you have the opportunity to be able to get these uh, crafted in your hideout whilst they do take a long time 37 hours i think that's perfectly acceptable for the fact that you can get uh these items in an alternative method than throwing yourself into one of the hardest maps in the game um, so it's a really cool new craft right there. Coftums, these ones are actually quite a, quite readily available on reserve if you look in the right spots. Check out my money loot run for reserve if you if you want to see some of the spots for them to spawn. Um, but honestly, uh, if you need these to be found in raid and you're struggling to get out a reserve raid or a labs raid with these, you've now got this as an option available for you. Lastly, moving over to the med station. Uh, there's one new craft over here and it's, it's an annoying one for a lot of people trying to get out of a raid with these found in raid. Uh, which is the morphine so you can now get the morphine injector found in raid and you can craft them in your hideout um it, the, the mats aren't too difficult to acquire you probably could just buy these off the uh, off the flea market anyway but it's giving you an option to be able to get a, a morphine found in raid for a quest so that's a good one there over on the workbench there is actually a new trade for 856a1 um, it requires you to have the red gunpowder as well as some 855 ammo you can buy the 855 ammo from peacekeeper uh, and then you just got to get yourself a red gunpowder. 180 rounds, it's a solid amount of ammo and only takes two hours to craft. Also on the lavatory for the fleece cloth, you can get uh, six bandages in half an hour, uh, which I don't mind using bandages. I actually use them a lot more than I used to, but uh, it, it, I guess it's, it's, it's a trade. Now these aren't, obviously this is going to be a very short video and hopefully it's very helpful for you just to know these new crafts exist. In particular, being able to um, get some of these tasks done that are quite frustrating for people um, with the new changes to the founding raid. While some of them might not be a profitable trade or craft to be able to uh, make money off, it's just going to be one of those other options you can have to be able to progress through the game. I'm going to finish this video up here, but there are a lot of task guides I am putting out over the next few days, so get ready for those. If you haven't liked this video already, please do like it. Uh, it really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, the task guides will start coming out tomorrow, so if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and smack the notification bell for all the latest information coming out. I'm going to be putting out a lot of guides over the next couple, couple of weeks. The Raid Series Season 2 starts on Monday as well. So there's a lot of cool content coming out and I'm really excited to see where we can take this YouTube channel. So to finish up, guys, thanks for watching another video. Um, if you've got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit my live stream. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. I'm streaming actually right now as I film this. So go down the link below, give me a follow over there. You can hit me up in the comments below. I try my best to answer them all. And lastly, I'll see you next time.